This cute little gadget here is the Shanling M1S. It is a hi-fi audio player that I initially took it for granted. But after using for a month, my ears are totally spoiled and I am never going back to listening regular wired audio on my phone. So here's my review and I want to give a big shout out to AoshidaAudio.com for sending this over for our evaluation. They're an online audio store and the exclusive retailer for the Shanling M1S and best of all, they offer free shipping worldwide. So definitely go check them out for your hi-fi audio needs. The Shanling M1S is a very compact hi-fi audio player that weighs 106 grams and it sports a really nice 2.8 inch touchscreen. The build quality is great like any hi-fi audio players as it features a CNC machine body and a glass back. The volume wheel on the left is very convenient and serves as the power button as well while it has three playback control buttons on top of the display. On the right, you get a micro SD card slot and a USB-C port that supports 10 watts charging. However, what makes this a really interesting device is the dual headphone output. It has a 3.5mm single-ended and a 4.4mm balanced output. These outputs are amplified by two Rycor RT6863 amplifiers which enables the 4.4mm balanced output to drive headphones up to 245mW of power at 32 ohms, which is an insane amount of power for such a compact form factor. Audio is processed by a single ESS Sabre ES9038QM2 chip. Although it is disappointing that the Shanling M1S isn't an Android-based audio player, its proprietary operating system known as MTouch 2.0 is very user-friendly and responsive. It also supports a variety of file formats including DSD 512 and MQA files. There are several features that I really like, such as being able to download lyrics from the internet and transferring music files over Wi-Fi through a web-based interface. However, you might argue that high-res audio files are hard to come by and you are already using Tidal and Apple Music as your main listening source. Well, the Shanling M1S will impress you as a Bluetooth music streamer, which I use a lot during the review period to pair it with my favorite wired headphones. The Bluetooth receiver feature supports the LDAC codec, so you're getting really high quality audio streaming with very little latency. If you use an iPhone, which unfortunately doesn't support the codec, the Shunning M1S supports AirPlay, which is even better and more reliable than a Bluetooth connection. In terms of sound quality, the ESS Saber deck delivers a distinctive, bright and dynamic sound profile that hi-fi audio enthusiasts will be familiar with. I tested it with the InTime Sora IEM on the 3.5mm output and the Tangzhu Wu Zetian on the 4.4mm balanced output. It presents instruments and vocals really well with a tight soundstage as if you're listening to a studio environment. It offers a 10-band equalizer with three custom presets which is great if you tend to switch between different pair of earphones. When it comes to battery life, Shunning claims that the 2800mAh battery can go up to 26 hours on Bluetooth audio 14.5 hours on the 3.5mm output and 10.5 hours on the 4.4mm balanced output. Though I wasn't able to test up to that claim as I mostly use it as my Bluetooth streamer for my phones, a 2 hour streaming session will drain the battery by around 15-20% to which is pretty decent in my books. Overall, the Shining M1S is a very powerful hi-fi audio player that offers a lot of features in an impressive compact form factor. I had it in my bag most of the time and use it a lot for streaming music from my phone and at times, I use it as a mere music player when I don't want any distraction from my phone's notifications. The Shining M1S retails at $229 US at aoshida.audio.com and comes with free shipping, which I think is very reasonable and may I say, affordable for an audio player that comes with a 4.4mm balance output. And if you're interested in getting one, AoshidaAudio.com has kindly offered a 10% discount code which you can find in the description and comments below. It will cost just $206 after discount which converts to around 960 ringgit in Malaysia and is cheaper than getting it from local retailers. So definitely go check it out in the link below if you're interested in getting one. So yeah, that's all for my thoughts on the Shining M1S. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.